This is crazy. After 48 hours, just 48 hours, the Bank of Japan just bailed out their stock market. Let me give you a really quick rundown on this because what do we got to get back to doing? Nerf guns. Right, Max? You got the medal because you're the winner. Okay, listen, here's what no, just it's happened. The it's the ninja medal. The ninja medal. That's because you're a ninja. That's right. So the Bank of Japan just said they won't hike rates when markets are unstable. They personally believe the U.S. economy can achieve a soft landing. They see no big change to Japan and U.S. economic fundamentals, and no single data point should change that. They say market moves are extremely volatile. So watching the impact of their of those moves on the economy is what they're doing, and they're going to move with vigilance and respond appropriately. They say that they have to maintain the current degree of monetary easing for the time being, which is basically a way of saying they're not going to hike rates again in Japan. Uh, and they say, hey, look, rates are still very low. Things are very, very loose, but they don't want market volatility to mess up the economy. In fact, they say the reversal of the weak yen means the risk of inflation overshoots. Uh, which would affect their policy. Okay, let me just simplify this whole message in English because right now, NASDAQ futures erased some of the losses they had after uh, super microcomputer was down, you know, 14, 15% or whatever it was. Uh, and pretty much everything was red over here in the after hours. Some of this is being reversed right now because there's this expectation that Japan just capitulated. They got to run the money printer again, basically. And remember, Japan is trying to create inflation. And so they're trying to raise rates as inflation is going up so they can sort of balance this out and go, okay, all right, inflation is coming up. We finally got it up. We're getting growth again and inflation. Okay, good. Now let's raise rates a little bit. The problem is that led to the carry trade, which basically led the yen to rise, to appreciate in value at the same time the US dollar fell. This led a lot of trades to unwind. Now, the yen is actually falling on this news. We're going to look at this quickly. Kids, this is going to be like another 30 seconds here. Keep in mind, because of all this Japanese craziness, we are doing a flash sale on the coupon code for the programs and building your wealth. We're doing 24 hours, roughly, maybe maybe 30 hours just to get to the like midnight tomorrow. But that's it. So go to meetkevin.com if you want to learn more about that. But look at this. As the yen rose... You had the carry trade explode on Monday in the Japanese stock market. When it fell, markets recovered. Then it started rising again, and then the K this morning was down like two and a half percent. Well, well, Japan's morning, and then they come in and capitulate. The federal, or the the Bank of Japan capitulates, bails out the stock market basically, leading now some risk assets to rally. But this is a really big problem because. And you probably haven't watched it yet. I understand it's a long video. It's like 35 minutes long. I highly recommend you watch the 35 minute video on how the Fed is about to rug pull us because here's the difference. We're not in Japan. We're not going to get bailed out the way Japan is getting bailed out. Watch that 35 minute video to see what to expect, why to expect it, and see all of the details, including my breakdown of what happened today and what they just said at Airbnb, Super Microcomputer, all the other companies. So watch that video, but know that in the short term, this feels like a good thing, but it's a sugar high and it's actually really scary because the fundamentals of the other video are maintained. And unfortunately and ironically, when the Bank of Japan capitulates this quickly, imagine when things really hit the fan, hits the fan, like America goes into a recession, and then they really capitulate. But the Fed ain't gonna do that. Their impact will be limited by the Fed. In other words, if what happens, what we talked about in the last video that I posted, again, go watch it. If that happens and the Fed delays substantially, it's not going to matter what the Bank of Japan does. Anyway, I hope that's not true because I don't want there to be a recession. Check out that video. Let's go back to playing Nerf guns. What do you guys think? All right, awesome. Let's get out of here.
talking about advertising. These things that you told us here, I feel like nobody else knows about this. We'll, we'll try a little advertising and see how it goes. Congratulations, man. You have done so much. People love you. People look up to you. Kevin Pafrath there, financial analyst and YouTuber. Meet Kevin. Always great to get your take. Even though I'm a licensed financial advisor, licensed real estate broker, and becoming a stockbroker, this video is not personalized advice for you. It is not tax, legal, or otherwise personalized advice tailored to you. This video provides generalized perspective, information, and commentary. Any third-party content I show shall not be deemed endorsed by me. This video is not and shall never be deemed reasonably sufficient information for the purposes of evaluating a security or investment decision. Any links or promoted products are either paid affiliations or products or services we may benefit from. I also personally operate an actively managed ETF. I may personally hold or otherwise hold long or short positions in various securities, potentially including those mentioned in this video. However, I have no relationship to any issuer other than HouseHack, nor am I presently acting as a market maker. Make sure if you're considering investing in HouseHack to always read the PPM at HouseHack.com.